Okay, everyone. It is 8.03 p.m. Eastern Time, and uh, we're looking at the British pound. You can see here on the daily bars that the market has started to trade sideways, and it's important to realize that we've had a huge down move. Uh, let's go ahead up here and measure from high to low. From high to low, we've got 1,677 pips on the downside. So a significant move down. Uh, we had some increased velocity as we started to come down, uh, meaning as soon as the market made its initial move back here in November, if you remember, this was some uh, bad news that hit uh, the UK <clears throat> excuse me, housing market. Remember, if you remember, the RICS survey came out in a very negative way in, in Great Britain. So the velocity increased. You can see here that the market, when it popped back up, it came right into a little dipper. Remember, uh, a little dipper is simply the down move here. And then we look for the market to move rapidly uh, up to the Fibonacci ratio of 0.618. So you can see the market rallied up to that point and it, it couldn't hold. So the momentum was obviously in the downward direction. The market then had another burst of volatility here as uh, again the um, central banks across the world started pumping liquidity into the market. They actually did it in a couple of different rounds and what's inter interesting to note is that as the open supply of money started to increase so did the velocity of the move down. You can see here uh, this was right about the time of the first injection. Here was the second one. You can see the market rallied slightly. Uh, there were more injections coming in here, December 10th through the 15th, and you can see that the pound was on a continual slide downward. Basically, what we're looking at here, uh, in, in my view, is that there's an increased supply. Okay, so the federal banks, uh, federal banks, the central bankers, uh, pardon me, get the pen. <clears throat> the central bankers come in and pump a bunch of money into the banking systems right in here to no avail, which means that the banks had no one worthy to lend to. So you have this huge amount of floating supply out there that no one is willing to uh, soak up. In other words, there aren't any good lenders out there anymore, or good borrowers out there anymore. It's in What I'm getting at here, slowly, uh, the punchline is, take a look at the difference in the bars through here on the downside, and then the bars all through here. Okay, they're all daily bars. If you look at it, they're getting smaller, aren't they? The the bar from open to close now is getting much smaller. What's this a sign of? This is a sign of buying. Okay. So, uh, the market has moved down some 1,670 pips. We're at a major support area on both the daily and weekly. Let's go up to the weekly. Uh, I was kind of looking at that just a few moments ago. Daily, come on, Bessie. There we go, weekly. And I lost all of my lines. That is interesting. There we go. So weekly, uh, keep your eye. Don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain. <clears throat> 